So in some past interviews, you've talked about the holy grail of higher education, where one piece is, how do you optimize the capital, the buildings, the infrastructure? And the other piece is, how do you optimize the character of the people that you send out into the world? Yeah. And you've said that there's no place that has actually optimized both those things simultaneously. Yeah. And so as you think about that character piece, sending out the right types of people into the world to make it a better place, what are the biggest challenges to doing that here? And, and how do you even start to overcome them? Uh, first, that's a great question. I mean, I, I, I will tell you where it comes from first. I, I attended Morehouse College undergrad, and Morehouse um, to me was the, um, it was the most psychologically wholesome four-year period of my life. I, I had gone to um, K-12 through system in suburban Philadelphia. It was largely white, and I was othered uh, the whole time. Uh, I came to Morehouse, and it was quite different. Mm -hmm. I was quite in focus, and uh, I felt like the place was there for me, was built for me. And, uh, and there was this emphasis. What drew me to Morehouse was uh, uh, Martin Luther King had gone there, the picture of character. And, um, and you could see how the institution itself, the way it approached the undergraduate experience, made an investment in not just setting up the person for a living, but for life, mm -hmm. to, to get them to take seriously the task of, um, of being a force for good in the world. You're obligated. I mean, Dr. Bleich, my classmates include um, uh, Jay Johnson, mm -hmm. uh, Homeland Security Secretary, um, and, and Spike Lee, mm -hmm. and Martin Luther King III, People who have been consequential in this world, there are a number of other people uh, I can name, but I won't start naming Morehouse men like that. Because you work at Harvard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, and I'm trying to give some Morehouse to Harvard here. Mm -hmm. We'll talk so, about that. We'll talk about that. <laughs> you know, and I, I, think, I think the issue is, um, you know, this character preeminence is what, is what I saw in mm -hmm. Morehouse, mm -hmm. and then I came to, to Harvard for grad school. And I, I looked around and saw these buildings and saw this big endowment, uh, these well-paid um, faculty members with a productive life lifestyle and students who didn't care about where the money was coming from because it was taken care of. And I said, you know what? Harvard needs exactly what Morehouse has, the character preeminence, and Morehouse needs exactly what Harvard has, the capital preeminence. 